Ghost is often associated with something scary and something that won't make you go to sleep. But in this modern times, ghost is also referred to as someone who has left you somewhere in the air hanging without even closing an open chapter between the two of you. I am ERR Stories and welcome back to Life Thoughts and Inspirations TV. Today's topic, as I mentioned, is will have something to do with the love month as well. And one of the most popular now, especially for people of my generation, is the term ghosting. Uh, according to researchers, ghosting is that um, thing wherein you have been used to someone who would make you happy, you would exchange messages every day, either through chat, through call, or sometimes even meeting up each other every day. And then all of a sudden, one day, you wake up without any single message from here, from him or her, or without saying hi, hello, and how do you do? Um, sometimes it would take like a day, a week, a month, until you've already forgotten about him or her. And in ghosting, most of the time, the person who was left without any explanation or who's left hanging feels miserable. Especially if that person has invested not only time but also emotional, um, there's like emotional investment already. And so, if you are in this situation, like, you feel you've been ghosted by that someone you thought is someone special, then I have some tips that you can consider for you to be able to move forward from this uh, very painful experience. So, number one is do not force yourself to find an explanation to what has just happened in you. Most of the time, people who felt they have been ghosted or who have left hanging would really find a way out for an explanation. Of course, who would not want an explanation? Like, you would wake up just one day without any message or anything, right? So, of course, you wanted an explanation. And because of this, you will be left dreaming about it or even really not sleeping anymore because you keep on thinking, what could have just happened? Why did it happen or so what? But in situations like this, when the other party has not communicated with you anymore, I would really suggest that you stop finding explanation. Because the more that you dig deeper to this, the more it will be painful for you. And not only that, you will also um, harbor negative feelings against that person who used to make you happy. Okay? So as much as possible, do not find an explanation to what, just, to what has just happened to you. The second one is do not blame yourself alone. Okay. Most of the time, uh, people who are in this situation would also put blame on themselves that maybe um, the reason why these people left them is because they're not just the perfect match for them. It could be the reason. But, of course, do not just blame yourself. Remember, in anything that happens or in any relationship, even if it's not um, like a boyfriend, girlfriend, friends, or like just with you, you're just, you know, like texting, chatting, etc. It's always a two-way relationship. It's not just about you. It's not just about him or her, but it's about both of you. So in cases like this, do not blame yourself alone. Some of the people who, who opted to be ghost okay 
um, some of the reasons would be they're not ready yet to really commit in a relationship or they are they feel the pressure of what's happening or maybe they feel that they're not just suited for that person and they don't have the strength to to say it up front okay so again if you are in this straight situation do not just do not put blame on yourself alone and find it in your heart that it's really a two-way relationship okay the third one is to move forward do not wait for that person to send you a message again to call you to wave in your messenger or even to tag you in the stories okay it's not moving on because sometimes when you say you move on the more that you get to be in pain because it seems like you're you're just um, overlooking what happened but moving forward means you acknowledge that you were hurt but from that hurt you will continue on with your life it's okay that you feel um, super down maybe for a week or a month but do not prolong the process anymore if that person just stopped communicating with you without a single reason then that person does not deserve you okay and of course the fourth one which i believe is really something important is if you feel super down because that person has ghosted you then just think about the good days where you had good memories with that person like waking up every day receiving a morning message or someone who would remind you to to eat your breakfast to have a healthy snack to exercise to do this and that um just think about the good memories after all even if that person has not ghost has ghosted you already there were also those days where in you had a meaningful one okay so do not harbor so much hatred and the fifth one is to pray for that person we won't know really like remember the first um the first tip is do not force an explanation and then the fifth one is to pray about this person because there's two way out to know right um if you have other means of communicating with that person and you feel you are ready then you can confront the person why why did you just stop communicating but if there is no way to do this then really the best is to pray for that person's heart to be enlightened not just not because you wanted that person back but because you wanted that person to have the courage at least to be transparent on what he or she feels so there um i hope i was able to help you out in a way and I'll take this opportunity as well to promote my book. Um, this is Hello There, David. Published uh, last year, self-published last year. You can order this at the link that I will be providing below. And for those uh, viewers who are chess players, I also have this chess, chess shirts that you can order. Um just message me later on um, shout out to all my new friends here in YouTube who have subscribed to my channel and to everyone who's doing live stream and who allow us new vloggers to get followers um, until then this has been ERR stories see you again God bless Thank you for watching my video. Please don't forget to subscribe, like, and share to your friends. And yes, always remember, 
Philippians 4.13, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. Bye-bye!